You would think a twin stick shooter with only five stages would take what four hours, maybe six at the most. Uh, how long did it take me to beat Kill Knight? <laughs> Thirty three. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks to Key Miller and PlaySide Studios for uh, hooking your boy up with a free code. Now let's talk about why this game took me so long to beat, but why I enjoyed every single second of it. Now, just to get this out the way, uh, Kill Knight is hard. Like this game is brutally hard. So if you don't enjoy games that fight back, if you don't enjoy games that punch you in the mouth, if you don't like games that make you uh, reconsider if you were ever good at games in the first place, uh, this is not for you. But for the rest of us uh, gaming masochists out there, hey, man, we, we got one. We, we, we got one on our hands. Now, the story in Kill Knight is simple. You're a knight who's been betrayed and banished into the abyss, and you're out to kill the last angel. That's it. That's the story, but we don't play these kinds of games for the story. Uh, we just want to shoot stuff, and don't worry. You're going to get to do plenty of that because with each stage, uh, five of them to be exact, uh, you're basically just going through waves of enemies until you reach the end. Uh, and in between time, the stages are morphing, it's changing, it's introducing hazards, and you're just trying to survive until you can get to the very end. Um, my favorite thing about Kill Knight, of course, and best of all, is the gameplay. Uh, it gives me a similar feeling to what I get when I play something like Doom Eternal. It's just, just really just nice rush of just adrenaline i love how all the mechanics kind of work together uh together in tandem with each other and you really do have to use every single one of them if you even want to have a chance of completing this game now i'm not going to do a super detailed breakdown of every single mechanic but just to cover the basics uh, you get a main weapon a side weapon a sword for your melee attacks uh, you also have a dash and a special move called a wraith burst uh, which is very important we'll get into that in a bit uh, side weapons of note are normally, you know, pretty strong, normally stronger than your regular gun, but they do uh, have limited ammo. Uh, so if you want to refill the ammo, you got to get the slice and the dice in with your sword because the only way to get ammo is to kill enemies with the melee attack. Um, and also if you find yourself low on health, which believe me, you'll be low on health, you'll be low on willpower, you might be low on faith <laughs> to get through these stages, but you can replenish your, uh, your health by using the Wraith Burst. Unfortunately, the Wraith Burst does not replenish willpower if you ain't got that. You just got to figure that out on your own. But if you want health, uh, use the Wraith Burst. That'll give you these little crystals uh, to help you heal. Now, you can't spam the uh, Wraith Burst. You have to fill that up by um, absorbing these crystal shards or the blood shards. Um, and that's tied to a little meter that you'll see at the bottom of the screen. Uh, so you can use that to refill that up. Um, or you can simply just step over the shards and collect them and you if you do it that way um, you enhance the uh, I want to say it's called the kill meter I didn't make a note of this but I think it's called the kill meter it's the, it's the meter that's at the top of the screen and you definitely want to do that because that meter will make you stronger uh, and faster which you will definitely need in this game uh, I should also mention that there is an active reload system and if you time it right uh, you can do anything from making your bullets stronger. You can pull off cool little special moves. So, for example, there's one gun that has like this little flashy spin move you can do if you hit the active reload at the right time. Um, or you can do the act, use the active reload to uh, absorb all of the blood shards that, that are in the area to help you fill up the wraith meter. So that's a very uh, crucial, important usage of uh, of the active reload feature. Um, and I know it, it kind of seems like a lot uh, when you first start there's so many meters and things to keep an eye on and the game is moving 100 miles an hour and like I'll be honest like it is a lot <laughs> it definitely is a lot but after a while you, you, you kind of settle into it and in a weird way like this game you know as chaotic as it is it has a it's, it's kind of a rhythm and like a dance to it you just you got to find your tempo that works for you and eventually all of the systems kind of start to click and then once you get a solid understanding of you know how the game wants you to play and what it wants you to do you the 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 addiction is going to be strong um because the game really does it plays well the mechanics work well together it's just a matter of you understanding how everything is supposed to work and then with the combat you know you get to unlock uh, upgrades so you're going to be getting new weapons uh, new swords new pieces of armor um, new like little passive abilities so you get to do a lot in terms of creating a build uh, now I will say with the upgrades one of my negatives about Kill Knight is I feel like you don't really get a ton of currency um, after each stage uh, so that can make it feel like it takes forever to just unlock certain upgrades now you can also 
uh, get upgrades by completing stage objectives, which honestly might be the better move. Um, I spent a lot of time saving currency. I would tell you if you're playing for the first time, just do the stage objectives. <laughs> it'll, probably, it'll get you a lot of the cool stuff a lot quicker than what it got me so that you're not playing this for the <clears throat> 33 hours. But yeah, man, uh, the, 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 the progression system in terms of currency, a negative I have. Um, another negative I have, not, not a big one, but I do wish the stages were just a bit more imaginative. I wish they had just a little more oomph to them. Like, I do appreciate how much the levels change in terms of things are morphing, stuff is moving around. We got spinning blades and lasers and spikes coming from the ground and something's always moving. It's always keeping your attention, but like just the look of the stages themselves, I feel like doesn't change that much. You get a lot of the same kind of color palettes and you know, it could be just the, you know, the field maybe they wanted to go for. But I don't know, I just, I wish the stages had just a little more, a little more oomph to them. And I, I wish they would have did more with boss fights. Um, because there actually is only one boss fight in the game, and that's the final boss. Um, but for the rest of the game, like I mentioned earlier, you're just going through waves of enemies. And then once you reach the end, you just kind of reach the end. Um, I feel like boss fights could have really punctuated some of these stages, but... Maybe they didn't want to because the, these stages are as hard. Are, uh, <laughs> they're already hard, so maybe they just figured, hey, we don't even need to add boss fights. The stage is the boss. Um, <laughs> so maybe that's why they didn't, in which case, they're, they're not entirely wrong. These stages are hard, so I, I, maybe I can see why they wouldn't have, but that's a personal thing for me. I, I kind of wish there were more uh, more boss fights, but even with those negatives, um, no, nah, this, this, this game is good, man. This, this was really addictive um and the crazy thing is it's not a roguelike but it, it gave me the roguelike feel because it put me in just this loop of every time i died it was like nah i'm ready to go back again i'm gonna try another build or i'm gonna try to do this next time and it just it has a way of just kind of dragging you back in and making you want to keep trying because you feel like the more you play you're starting to understand you know the game more the mechanics more you're memorizing the room layouts and now, it does everything you want a twin stick shooter to do. It is fast. It is responsive. Uh, the combat, like I said, has a good variety to it. And it's unique with all these little mechanics they have, even though it takes a while to get used to. Um, once you get a hold of the mechanics, man, this this game is... Ah, oh, man, this is this is the kind of adrenaline rush that I that I like right here. But, yeah, man, Kill Knight, this, this was fire, man. I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I don't think it should have took me 30 plus hours to finish it, but... <laughs> hey man it is what it is but i had fun the entire time i was playing this is literally the only thing i've been playing uh since i picked it up i have not put this down i played this literally until i finished it and uh i don't regret it uh every single second was worth it you, there is some post-game content uh they got leaderboards so there are things to come back for for replayability um i would like to see them do some dlc for this i think there's potential to maybe add a, another stage or two but we'll see man but even so kill knight is dope man if you like twin stick shooters if you really enjoy challenging games this is uh something that should be on your radar put it on the wish list or just buy it you're gonna have a good time it's gonna give you a challenge and it's gonna give you that just that nice adrenaline rush that sometimes you just you just need that in your life you just need that little little shot in the arm to just get you going but yeah man this is kill knight man definitely definitely enjoy this game would uh a thousand percent recommend it for those who just enjoy a challenge this is definitely something you should check out and um yeah that is all i got for today's video my name is serial sensei y'all stay safe y'all stay hydrated and uh catch y'all on the next one don't do this to me oh three oh back up Alright, I'm gonna need y'all to give me some more health! <laughs>